search for good entertainment. Critic discretion is advised. You remember that feeling you used to get when you were a little kid and thought that there was a monster in your closet or under your bed? And he looked something like this? This movie made me remember that feeling. So thank you so much. I'm officially having night terrors again. Picking up the marrow. I thought about wearing that costume for the entire review, but that's just not gonna work out. So Digging Up the Marrow is a horror film directed by Adam Green. He gave audiences the Hatchet trilogy and Frozen. No! Stop that! Wrong movie! the one I was thinking of. Yeah, Disney's Frozen isn't the only movie with that title, just so you know. Moving on, I have the DVD right here. Um, I bought it the day it came out. I really like the design on the front. You can actually feel the texture. I forget what that is called. Let me know in the comments if you guys know what that is, but I, you can actually feel like the outline of the eye and the teeth. And I bought the DVD because Adam Green has gained a reputation for being a really good horror director, which caught my interest. I liked his Hatchet trilogy, and I absolutely loved Frozen. Not the Disney one. His Frozen. I have to do a review on that movie. It's one of my favorite 21st century horror films. And in this film, he's not only the director, but he's also the main character or actor. Did that make sense? Maybe this will make a little bit more sense. The plot centers around Adam Green and a small film crew who are contacted by a man named William Derrick. And Derrick claims that he can prove the existence of monsters because he's discovered this underground ecosystem which he calls the Marrow. So the question is, do they actually find monsters? Why are you asking me? Go watch the movie! I'm joking, they definitely find monsters. The creature design for this film is unlike anything I've ever seen before. The attention to detail is easily just as good as any big budget CGI loaded movie. And that's the thing, there is no CGI in this film whatsoever. It's all animatronics, costumes, and makeup, but with such a limited budget you can't really show that much. And you know what, it worked perfectly for this film. He gave us just enough of a glimpse into the unknown to fear it, but not too much of a glimpse so the film didn't lose its psychological effect. There is a scene in this film where I was legitimately scared. And when I think about it, it's hard to describe how I felt at that moment. But I do know that I was covering my eyes and shaking all over because I was that terrified. And the fact is that the movie itself is a celebration of classic horror, if not monster movies, from the 1920s and 1930s. I do want to warn that this is a found footage movie, however I found it to be more of a mockumentary style, because the photography was actually pretty good. Except maybe the last five minutes. It's certainly not the most original film, and it does tend to slow down at parts. Also the ending is a little bit disappointing. Not terrible, just kind of anticlimactic, if you know what I mean. But all in all, I found this movie to be very interesting and frightening with a unique concept and excellent creature design. And I'm going to go ahead and give Digging Up the Marrow a 4 out of 5. So have you seen Digging Up the Marrow? Did you see it? What did you think about it? Whatever you think, comment below. Let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, punch that like button. And I'll see you guys next time on Preview Review. Thanks for watching.